What is the minimum it takes to get to heaven? It's one of the most annoying questions I've been asking people for years now. And it's the topic of my PATH blog that I just posted on BillMountains.com. What happened to me was that I was at a bus stop and I was in graduate school in Scotland getting a PhD in the New Testament. And a co-ed came up to me and said, so are you one of those divinity guys? And that's what they call the major over there. And I go, yeah. I said, so you're a Christian, right? And I go, yeah. And she said, what is that? And it was one of the most embarrassing and defining moments of my life because I had never sat down to think through how would I describe what a Christian is? What, what is, the, in a sense, the minimum it takes to get to heaven? You didn't want to tell her uh, too little, have her respond and still end up in hell, but you didn't want to make it harder than it needs to be and have it unnecessarily push her away. And the problem was I could see the bus coming. I had two minutes to tell her. I'd really encourage you to not wait until you have your bus stop experience. And that's what this blog is all about. How will you, if you only have an elevator length time, describe to someone what a Christian is and how they could become a Christian as well? So I encourage you to check out the blog today. Thanks.